Creative is an incredible tool that you can use to construct your own levels, or rounds as I call them. Experiment with a huge variety of obstacles, pick a theme, and unleash the next big thing on the Blunderdome! All right, Builder Bean, here we are. Let me give you a first-hand look at what Creative can do. Every round starts with, well, a start line, and naturally we need a finish line as well. Now I'll just add some padded floors and that's it. Except that's not very fun, is it? How about we spice things up a bit? Oh, that's better, right? So much more fun. Just look at it. And you see that uterus there? With the right angle and momentum... Well, I, I won't bore you with the maths, but we're talking a straight shot to the finish line! Bullseye! But I wonder, what if I added a chain of yeetai? Another one of my amazing creations! And now you're all set to start creating! You'll always have a start line and a checklist for what your round requires, but everything else is up to you. So open up your objects tab and take a look. We've got platforms, blocks and barriers, moving surfaces, ooh, obstacles, and even decorations. Objects can be moved around the level, rotated, raised or lowered, made bigger or smaller. Place them anywhere you like. With a bit of Clever thinking, you can create some amazing contraptions. It sounds complicated, but a good builder like you should find it a piece of cake. Plus, I built in a few helpful features to speed up your development. Objects can't be placed inside others. Objects will also snap together like building blocks. Perfect for making sure beans don't fall through things like floors. Unless you want them to, of course. You can jump in and play your level at any time while building, even if it's not finished yet. Whether you want to check something works or you just need some inspiration, it's always helpful to get in there and play around. Jump off platforms, get flung by a boom blaster. There's really nothing quite like it. All right, now that we have the groundwork done and some obstacles placed, we still need a finish line. Or maybe you want more than one. You can also select and change their settings. Let's make this one just a little bit smaller. There, that should be fun. We can see in the upper left corner that our creator checklist is now all checked off. So the next step is to publish. Let's head back into the creator menu and save our round. I'll go ahead and give it a name. You can change that at any time. You can also add a description and change the rules, like how many players are allowed in a match. Before you can share your masterpiece, you need to prove it can be finished. If you can make it from the start all the way to the finish, it's good. Well, that should just about do it. I can't wait to see what you create, or the reactions from the beans getting to experience it all for themselves. Oh wait, I didn't tell you the best part. Rounds published by any creator will have the chance to be featured on the show selector as a live show. All right, I know, you're probably itching to jump into creative for yourself, so I won't keep you any longer. Just know I've got a lot more in store for you and creative. So be sure to check in with me every so often to see what new themes, objects and obstacles I've added.